Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. As you have seen from the title of the video, today we're doing a DIY. So I'm um, not a lot of you know this, but I moved into my new apartment. So I'd like to turn it into a home, right? So I'm basically, so I'll basically be starting a series of me turning this apartment into a home, um, each room at a time, and throwing in a few DIY projects. Today's video is a DIY project and as you have already seen by the title of the video, I will be showing you guys how I got my um, faux concrete wall. So if you are interested to see how I achieved this beautiful wall, then do keep on watching. To achieve this wall, you have to use this specific paint. No other paint will work. I got this paint from a builder's warehouse um, in at, at the Glen, at, yeah, by the Glen, and it retails for about I think it was 190 rands. The first thing you're going to do is pour the paint into a bucket. So this one liter paint covers um, can cover a a bigger wall than this because I had some paint left over and then you're going to take a, your painters cloth um, I don't know I just used this cloth from builders warehouse I don't know if any other cloth will work now the first thing you have to do is submerge the cloth into your paint cover the whole cloth in paint and then drain out the excess paint the next thing you're going to do is randomly dab the cloth that's covered um, in paint all over the wall. Make sure it's random um, and don't make like round circles or anything. They should be random and you also want to make sure you leave out um, like you don't cover the whole wall yet on the first go. So you'll only you'll be leaving out parts of the wall. Also, make sure to clean your wall before starting. My wall was already clean because I had just moved in. And another thing that I didn't do that I realized like um, after a while is that I did not put painter's tape. So if you are not an accurate painter like myself, I would highly suggest you put painter's tape because I had a lot of cleaning up to do afterwards. Once the whole wall is covered, you're going to repeat this step again, but this time you will be filling in the parts that were not filled in on the first go as well as also overlapping um, the previous dabs. So you will be repeating the step, but making sure that you fill the, the wall so that um, the, the whole wall is almost covered in, in paint. Once the whole wall is covered in paint, you are going to take your cloth, the one that has paint, and you are going to kind of like blend um, the paint. So you'll be rubbing the wall with the cloth as though you are blending it. And then with a brush, 
you can just brush through the wet paint so that it is blended perfectly. This is also a chance for you to fill in um, spots that you may have missed and um, you know fill them in with paint as you go along. I then left the wall to dry overnight and the next morning this is how it looked I was quite happy with the results hey I was shocked that I managed to actually create a concrete a full concrete wall So we have come to the end of this video thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you for watching if you have watched till this far big up to you don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and you know comment down below what you think about this video is it something you would try and i really hope it was easy to follow so that if you do decide to try it then you know you can nail it easy peasy but thanks so much for watching and i'll see you again in my next video